What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and the Tarantula Heaven YouTube channel. A little bit of a different video today. Uh, you may notice that I don't have the spiders in the background. Spidey is upstairs in her room, um, but the jealous cat is here and she's probably going to cry because I think she wants food even though she eats all day. Um, anyway, this is a quick update, a little bit different video today. Um, just to say that um, for many of you, you may know that I put out a tarantula magazine called The Spinneret. It's a digital magazine all about tarantulas every two months, and I have a Patreon attached to that where people can subscribe to that. And I just wanted to let you know that I have not announced the next featured spider um, just because I'm going to be taking a break from the magazine for a few months, um, just for a little while, so that I can do some reprioritizing in my life um, just to give you a little bit of what's going on. I am working on getting to the next stage in my career, um, which means that I am studying to take my clinical social work test um, in the next few weeks. And this is a test that I have been working toward from a few years. Um, basically the way it goes is that um, after you get your measures in social work, you have to take the license exam to become a licensed social worker, so an LSW. So that's like the first step. And then you have to do two years of supervised work in the field, um, whether you're doing therapy or social work, whatever you're doing, it's gotta be clinically supervised if you want to take the licensed clinical social worker exam. So I'm working towards this exam for two years and I am almost at the point where I can take the exam. So I've been studying a lot. Um, it is such a honor and privilege to be able to take this test. Um, you know, some of you might say that is a lot of work to work up to a test, but um, it should be a lot of work because when you are touching the lives of people as a therapist and you are um, touching their memories, their feelings, their thoughts, it should be hard to be in this field. And so this is what I've had wanted to do um, ever since I started going to school for social work. And so I'm just gonna be taking a break from the magazine just so that I can remove um, any extra stress off myself um, so that I can focus. I really wanna only have to take this test once. Um, it's a four hour test. It's a few hundred dollars, it's expensive, um, and there's a lot of material. So I'm trying to remove anything that's gonna cause me any extra stress or take me away from this goal. For those of you who are Patreon subscribers, don't worry, the Patreon is paused because I'm not gonna charge you when you guys are not getting content. So nobody will be charged for the time that I am taking away from creating the magazine. Um, and I also think it'll be good because it'll give me some time to, you know, reflect when I'm not studying on where I want to take the magazine, if I want to make changes. You know, sometimes the magazine can get so time consuming, especially as I'm working full time as a therapist and now having to go back to the office. Um, my commute's kind of long and so I have even less time than I have than when I was working from home. So I've got to be focusing. I've got to be really choosy about where I put my time and the magazine is kind of time consuming. Um, you know, having to conduct interviews, um, search for people who would be good to interview, the design process, the editing process. It's quite a bit when it comes down to it. So um, I, it was a hard decision, but I, I think that removing the magazine from my plate for a little while so that I can put 100% of my energy into this new task would be really beneficial. And um, makes me a little sad because I do love the magazine, but sometimes we do have to um, prioritize in our lives. And I know that I will not regret putting more time into studying and getting to this next stage in my career because I've wanted to do this for a really long time. And it'll open up a lot of doors in my career as a therapist once I get through the test and have my clinical license. So I'm super excited. It's so such an honor to be able to take this test. I have a lot of really good energy. I'm still about a month and a half from being able to sign up for the test, um, but I'm hoping that once I'm eligible and I've got all my supervision hours, I sign up for that test and I pass it right away. So that's the vibes that I'm, I'm getting. <laughs> that's the energy I'm going with. 
and I just got to put in the work. So thank you so much for understanding, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't think any of you were like, oh my God, where's my tarantula magazine as long as you're not getting charged. But um, I just, you know, I like to keep you guys updated. I never want to just not put out content and not let you guys know what's going on. I'm not disappearing or anything. Um, I will be continuing to make videos or put videos on YouTube. And uh, the reason why is just because the videos aren't as time consuming. I am able to batch a month or two worth of videos, shoot them all at one time, edit them in the same week. And so that's something that I can kind of schedule beforehand and um, batch create and that is much less stressful than the magazine. So I will still be putting out my Tarantula Tuesday videos, um, but the magazine, the more time consuming part of the work I'm doing in Tarantula content, I will be putting on the back burner for now. And in the meantime, I'd love to know what suggestions you have for the magazine because um, in taking a break, I do think that sometimes it's good to reflect on how we could make something better. You know, sometimes when we're doing the, um, the daily grind of things and we're so immersed in a project and getting content out, we don't actually have time to reflect and pause and think about how could this be improved? You know, we're just kind of like mindlessly creating. And so I do think that it'll be beneficial to take a break for me anyway. Um, but anyway, so thank you so much guys for your support and for continuing to watch my videos. Um, Tarantula Magazine will not be put out for, it looks like, quite a few weeks. And like I said, the Patreon is paused for now and not accepting new subscribers just because I'm not creating right now. So I will keep you updated. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am looking forward to just studying my butt off <laughs> and using my cat and my tarantulas to keep me calm. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I will be back next week for a Tarantula Tuesday video that is actually about the tarantulas. So stay tuned. And I hope that if you guys are working towards a goal and you are studying for something or anything that you're trying to accomplish in life, I hope that, you know, maybe this message or the takeaway um, is that it's okay to give yourself space and time and pull back from certain projects when you have to focus really hard on something. It's a lesson that is really, um, I guess I'm learning kind of late in life because normally I would just push through no matter what and do all the things. But um, I'm just noticing that it's not healthy for me and it's okay. Like it is okay to stop. It's okay to rethink things. It's okay to pivot in your life. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to try to have balance and not be doing all the things all the time and rest. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess, my message for this video. <laughs> I hope that if you're working towards something in your life or um, just trying to pursue something that this encourages you. Um, you guys certainly encourage me and I will see you next week. Take care, bye-bye. Ava, you wanna say bye? Baby, baby. Hey. Bye.